I'm Dr. Jay Marino, Assistant Superintendent of Operations in Decatur Public Schools. Be a teacher. Be a teacher. I thought you told me you wanted to be a teacher, didn't you? I want to be a teacher when I grow up. Grow up. So we have to start setting goals, right? The classroom learning community model is rooted in best practices and research. The classroom learning community model is Decatur Public School District's latest innovative approach to incorporating student ownership, voice, and choice in the classroom. Goal one of the district's strategic plan calls for ensuring unique, innovative learning experiences for all students. Goal two ensures a student-focused environment that expands learning beyond their traditional expectations to engage students. Goal three establishes a support network that will identify and address students' physical, social, emotional, and mental health needs to allow each student to reach their full potential. To our students here in Decatur Public Schools, that network is our classroom learning community model. The classroom learning community model is tightly aligned to the district's new strategic plan. So this year I really wanted the kids to have some ownership over the classroom and one of our goals coming in was that they felt like this was a safe place um, that was more like a home to them and somewhere they were comfortable being and able to learn. The needs of today's 21st century learners are different from years past. Today's learners are skilled multitaskers and learn best by interacting with others. They are experiential learners that learn by discovery rather than being told. They enjoy working in teams and want to be part of a learning community while collaborating, sharing, and exchanging ideas with others. They enjoy taking on different roles in their learning, either as a student or even as a facilitator. Today's students create immediate feedback, responsiveness, and ideas from others. They prefer to construct their own learning while assembling information and tools from different sources. The most powerful research has been conducted by Dr. John Hattie who popularized the concept of visible learning which has one of the highest research-based effect sizes. According to his research, visible learning occurs when teachers see learning through the eyes of students and help them become their own teachers. In short, the CLC model is rooted in research and best practices for the needs of today's 21st century learners. It is just amazing how you want to help me bring about change, and I want to be able to support that change. In August 2022, over 60 Decatur Public School District educators from six different schools participated in the first two-day intensive classroom learning community workshop to increase their ability to understand, integrate, and implement the eight components of the CLC model in their classroom. Throughout the workshop, participants gained firsthand experience with the components as they formed their own learning communities, identified team norms, created a mission to guide their work throughout the workshop, and even a data center to monitor their own learning. CLC Cohort 1 workshop utilized the I do, we do, you do methodology so that teachers could experience firsthand the strategies before planning to implement them in their classrooms. Participants utilized this experience to prepare for the first day of the 22-23 school year. One of the strategies that teachers are finding very effective is to establish the concept of expectations. I found out what they wanted from me. I've never done this before, but um, a quality teacher, when they said that, I told them if they wanted that out of me, I needed quality students, but they're like, well, no, that's what I want out of my friends, too. So I felt like um, we became like a family much quicker due to the fact of talking about what our, our expectations out of each other. Many classrooms began the school year by talking with their students about what makes a quality student, a quality teacher, and even defining what quality work looks like. The initial step sends a clear message to students that this is their classroom. Many students were surprised and excited to be able to share what they expect from their teacher. Um, 
this school year we get to make up our own rules we have new words um, we do different things than last year being a teacher in a CLC room is very important to me because I want to see children succeed I want them to be able to set little goals and watch each little goal happen for them and until they until they reach their really big goal. It's mind blowing to me. I love it. I think that change is good. You know, we get kind of stuck in our teacher routines. Um, try something new. Kudos to our teachers for sharing leadership with their students and relinquishing some of that control right back to the students. Ground rules are a really positive and proactive way to engage 21st century learners in their own learning. This gives students a voice in which they get to determine what kind of collective commitments they'll make to each other in the classroom. I did come up with some rules like be respectful, be responsible, and other stuff like that. It makes me feel like someone is respecting me. Students learn a variety of real-world problem-solving tools that provide an engaging method of seeking student voice and choice. Tools such as brainstorming, affinity diagram, and nominal group technique are utilized to ensure that all voices are heard, that similar ideas are grouped together, and that priorities are identified through group consensus. As students establish collective commitments that they will make to themselves and each other, they sign their name as a pledge to uphold these agreed upon norms. Once ground rules are established, the class reflects on them daily and also uses them as expected standards by which the learning community agrees to. Once ground rules have been established, classroom learning communities find unique and creative ways to keep them alive and well on a daily basis. Classroom mission is one of the next components of the CLC model. This is where we get students to really dig into answering the question, why? Why do I come to school each day? You're just acting smart because you're recording. There's, there's, a, there's other Johns Hill figures, and we got to know who we are. Effective mission statements are typically one sentence that answers all three questions. Just like in ground rules, students sign the mission as a result of their pledge to the classroom learning community. Many CLC classrooms begin and end their day with a review of their ground rules and mission as a reminder of their work together. Now that over 60 Decatur Public School District staff from Cohort 1 have been successfully implementing the classroom learning community model, the district will soon be scheduling the next round of CLC workshops for Cohort 2. Exciting CLC experiences are happening all around the district. Many teachers have commented that with the help of the CLC model, this has been one of the smoothest, most rewarding beginnings to a new school year. You hear the language in the hallway. Um, our administrators use the same language in our meetings. So everyone has buy-in, just like our students have buy-in, staff has buy-in because Holly's implementing it as well. So what did this year's CLC Cohort 1 participants say about the CLC workshop? Let's listen. I would say go ahead and try it. Like to me it was really scary to look at it and it's like, oh wow, how can I do this? But take one slow step at a time because everything that you implement helps your class um, take ownership. It helps them to buy in. So they're like, hey, we wanna set our own goals. We want to work harder towards something because it's something that they decided, not something that you decided for them. I, I would say a, a big part of it is just that the students are taking accountability and ownership. They, they had their voice heard in setting up our classroom so they have been much more responsive to any corrections that we need to make any changes that they need to, to feel more supported they 
they're taking the classroom by the reins and running with it and I'm happy to support them yeah. any way that they they seem to feel is necessary. If you get the opportunity to see try because I think we're seeing a big difference and we're just in the first couple of weeks and I hope that we you know we're going to continue monitoring but we see a huge difference and when you walk through the door you feel a difference at Parsons right now. It was really actually kind of fun to implement the CLC program in my classroom this year because it was a new experience for me plus with being in a new school um, it helps with the having getting to know the kids better. It has entirely changed the high school atmosphere at alt school uh, our kids are policing each other. They are working together instead of struggling oh, no with way. each other. They're coming together to meet goals and they're setting very high goals for themselves and they're already achieving them. Well, next steps are to launch CLC Cohort 2 and offer opportunities for the next round of teachers who want to participate in CLC Cohort 2. Don't miss out.